Hello everyone, welcome to Encryption, the tech tips and tutorial channel. This video is going to be about how you can open the virtual machines automatically at the boot time in a Windows operating system. This method is going to work for the VMs running on Windows server as well. If you are using the VMware workstation or VMware player. So let's get started. Here on the VMware workstation 15, I have created a virtual machine named admin of a Linux distribution CentOS 7. It is on the powered of state now. For this demo, I am going to show you uh, how you can start the virtual machine automatically uh, when the computer starts or reboots. We will have to create a batch file and move it to the startup folder. So let's open a notepad first. Then go to the VMware program folder which in my case is this PC, C drive, program files x86, VMware. If the VMware folder is hidden or you cannot find it here, you should go to the view menu and check the hidden icons. Then double click on the VMware folder and double click on the VMware workstation folder. This folder includes all the program files of the VMware workstation software. Here you should uh, see the vmrun.exe file. Let's copy the full path of the folder. Then go to notepad and paste the path here. Add the backslash vmrun.exe at the end of the path. Then enclose the path with double inverted commands. And type start. Again, double inverted commands start and end. Go to VMware UI. Click on the edit virtual machine settings. Click on the options. Select the working directory. Copy it. Go to the notepad. And paste the working directory path inside the double quotation. Then add a backslash, go to VMware again, copy the virtual machine name, come back to the notepad, paste the name here and add .bmx extension. Now we can close all these windows except the notepad. Finally, let's save the file as bmrun.cmd you should make sure that the save as type should be all files this is a windows bash file which is executable i'll save the file in my desktop and move it to the startup folder closing the notepad file let's move the file to the startup folder press windows and r keys at the same time to open run window and type cell colon startup on the box this command takes you to the startup folder then hit enter now let's move the vmrun.cmd file to the startup folder that's all to verify let's restart the pc then when your pc restarts log into it and wait for some time you will see the batch file running on the command prompt, which starts the virtual machine automatically. Here we go. The virtual machine is starting automatically. Okay, friends, uh, this is how we can configure our Windows PC or Windows server to start virtual machines automatically after the PC or the server reboots. I hope the trick was useful to you. Please subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon. Thanks for watching. See you on other videos. Till then, have a nice time. Goodbye.